The hall is full to capacity as engineers, representatives of top government functionaries and professionals from other walks of life gather in Abuja for the 2017 annual conference of the Nigeria Society of Engineers. Our spouses, the special guest of Anna, Nigeria's Minister of Science and Technology, highlights the critical role of engineers in the economic recovery and growth plans of the federal government. The Nigeria Economic Recovery and Growth Plan 2017 and 2020, which is anchored on science and technology. In line with those changes, your Federal Ministry of Science and Technology decided to champion moving Nigeria away from a resource-based economy to a knowledge-based innovation-driven economy. And this is what science and engineering uh, can do for us as, as a nation. The, world press the National President of the Nigeria Society of Engineers calls on the federal government to unbundle some ministries for efficiency. The kind of arrangement of merging power, works and housing under one minister can be very effective in a country that is as small as the size of one of the states in Nigeria. We expect His Excellency to unbundle some ministries and bring on board more professionals at the ministerial level. Mr. Alfred Okoyegu, who received an honorary fellowship award from the Society of Engineers, emphasized the need for government to patronize indigenous engineers. It is long overdue that Nigerians should be involved in our engineering processes. We will make mistakes, we will learn from those mistakes. But to think that everything will be left in the hands of foreigners and they will give you the best, you are wrong. It's not going to work. The present administration has continued to emphasize the need to diversify the economy. And most engineers here argue that engineering profession is key to that agenda.